Today's coverage brought to you by EA. This could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Second shot. This one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. He'll need to be strong with this. Oh, what an incredible shot. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards. Difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par three, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Back to back birdies, we'll see. Oh my gosh, that hurts. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. And getting ready for the putt. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo, back with you at the third hole here at the Cliffs. And this is a hole that offers up a chance to put a red number on the board, Frank. It certainly does. A good drive finding this very narrow fairway will certainly give you the opportunity to reach the green in two. Stray a little left, either with the drive or the second, and all of a sudden you might realize this par five has teeth. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Up with the big boys now, Frank. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's further. 
Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Solid strike right in the heart of the green. Couldn't have done much better than that. Eagle is very possible. Just a couple of feet. So Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid. Um, very impressed. Fourth hole is 411 yards, par four. And Frank, this is the kind of hole where you, you want to pull out the cell phone and take a few pictures. The views are absolutely stunning. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. That is a really good shot landing close to the flagstick. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh, I thought they'd at least pick up a shot. Birdie looked like a sitter. Now it pop. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Knocks that putt in for par to stay at three under. Fifth hole now at Lighthouse Point. Frank, it's a beefy par four. Another hole without any fairway bunkers off the tee, but really the main defense here at the cliffs is the elements. Find the fairway. And uh, you'll also be hitting to a green, which uh, is protected by a little bunker to the right side of that and short. Uh, so precision, once again, required here. Interesting, with the almost space-age advancements in golf equipment, what with new, lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. Yeah. Good looking shot right here. What do you try up next? Not a gimme, but well within his range. Drops another birdie and moves to four under on the day. Par 3-6 is relatively short, 198 yards, Frank. But this one, really, you've got to go airborne here. That bunker that protects the left side and front, you've got to carry that and get it to land soft so it doesn't skip through the back of the screen.
Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Starting to heat up now. Back to back birdie. Well done. Now to the seventh hole here at Lighthouse Point. Frank, we all love the shorter par fours. There's so many decisions to be made here at seven. Uh, if you look at the scorecard, it's not very long, but when you start to flash your driver down that right side, you'll notice that fairway gets very narrow. So the decision is really that's the prudent play or not. Uh, from there, it's just a short iron in, and you should be looking at birdie. Good. Can't ask for much more here at the seven. He has hit a good one. Frank getting set for this approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player. It's obvious in full flight right now. It is. This is where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Frankie seems to have found something. Already two birdies in a row, and now another chance. Yeah, it's all starting to flow here. This is uh, really important. He's starting to play well, so finish it off here for three in a row. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Well, a bit unusual. A third par three now on this front side. We're at the eighth. It's 165 yards, Frank. And this par three looks nothing like the previous two. Um, heads towards the edge of the cliff there. Long green, almost a figure eight or an hourglass shape. Bunkers left and right. Going to have to be straight here. This is a good looking shot. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole and a good chance now for another birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Did the job right there. We move to the ninth hole, and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said... Par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out, excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par five and two. Miss. Pay the price. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Playing his second shot here at the par 5.
Now that approach shot is well to the left, but still, he's on the putting surface. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Could it be? Do that, Frank. What a putt. I didn't go that far in Florida. So nine holes down here at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Rich Loader alongside Frank Novello. Checking out this 10 hole, Frank. Is this a typo? 592 yards, but it's a par four, not a par five. What gives? The reason why that tee shot, uh, severe elevation, so we can at least sort of chew 30 or 40 yards off that number. But I'm not saying this hole short, that's for sure. So that bunker just at the start of the field on the left certainly comes into play. The other feature, or well, interesting feature here at 10, is the shared green. This green shares that little piece of property with 13, just divided by that little pot bunker in the middle. Frank, they say you have to ride the wind where he got all of that one. Got every ounce out of the conditions. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Looks like it's going to find the target. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Frank, just a surgical touch out there. And the scorecard reflects yet another birdie. Now we go to the 11th hole, and this is a par 5, but it's actually shorter than the par 4 10. This one comes in at 530 yards, and, and more evidence of the kind of creativity by the award-winning design team of Patel and Duncan. Well, that's right. Patel really is, is known to be the shaper. He's the one that makes all those interesting shapes of the bunkers. For example, here, nipping it in the fairway, making driver almost too much club or very, very risky, plus the front bunker there. Now, this is a great par five. The reason why, it's reachable, it's tempting, but you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting on it. Excellent looking shot here. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. We'll settle. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. It's no snack though.
Back here now at the 12th hole, par four, 439 yards, Frank to the center of this green off the black tees. And if the breeze blows left or right, this hole plays very hard. Uh, one of the reasons why, just through the fairways, littered with bunkers. It's, uh, not only do you have to pick the right line, but somehow you've got to get that ball the right distance as that hole bends completely to the left. Rather interesting shaped green here at 12. This is a stiff test, no doubt. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. <laughs> now the game's number one player, Rory McIlroy, ready with his approach. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Settles in over the putt. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. On to the 13th, and Frank, I love golf courses where you run into something you've never seen before. I have never played a par five of 700 or more yards. Here it is. And now the second shot here at this par five. So third shot now for Rory McIlroy. Well, Frank, you hate to miss the green on a par five with your third shot. Well, they say par fives are the uh, easiest holes to birdie, but the hardest holes to make four. Making a six, though, well, that certainly sets yourself backwards. So tough up and down. Frank, how about that? Oh, can you believe that, too? I mean, could have hit the flag and bounced away and stared straight in. Amazing shot and really deserves it. Now at the par 3 14th, over another body of water, Frank, you could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today having shot under par, you have to be really happy. Certainly is big boy golf playing around uh, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point, Rich. And this is another example here at this beefy par 3, 240 yards. Uh, you can see Lake Zimmer protects the front of this green and to the right. And that's obviously where they get all their irrigation water from. But uh, there's enough green left of the flag here. That's really what you've got to be looking at, that front left section. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Frank, this would be huge. 
Oh, it's got that strut going, everything. This is when that hole starts to look a little bit bigger. You really feel like you can start to make everything. Just has the feel today. 15th hole and Frank a return to sanity. 387 yards, par four. Yeah, second easiest hole on the golf course. Uh, bends a little to the left. Just avoid the sand left and that little pot bunker on the right. And you should uh, be set up with a relatively short iron end to a, a green that really the only problem is if you go long. Oh, beautiful swing. And the result is every bit as good. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Let's see what McElroy does now with his second. can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. I mean, this is just an incredible round of golf. That is an eighth birdie on the card. Time to make a move, the closing stretch here at number 16, par three, 241 yards. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Repetitive is often sound boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Count him, Frank. He's about to go for a handful here. Oh, this is wonderful, too, and there's been no flukes, too. This is just plain, great golf. Let's see if he can make five. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 17th hole is another par five, 613 yards. Frank, how do you play it? Well, only the longest hitters can get here in two. It's two big hits, that's for sure. Uh, S-shaped fairway, so if you can't reach the par five and two, you can still plot your way down there for a nice little pitch and uh, really great opportunity to get one back off the scorecard. Wait, this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Hug that one a little bit offline to the left. And he'll pay a bit of a price because that rough is a fairly thick. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly. Yes, really good. 
really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Good looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Rich, I'm starting to lose count. This is just birdie after birdie. It's all time stuff. I mean, this is territory we just don't visit very often. We've made it at last to the 18th, partner. What a finishing hole. It is. It's a tee shot you have to respect. Uh, that fairway goes on that uh, sort of 60 degree angle towards the left so you have to know how far you fly the ball and of course you can't afford to miss it your tee shot but a good tee shot let's talk a bit positive here good tee shot in the middle of fairway just going to leave you a short iron and an excellent chance to uh, finish with another birdie yards and in the fairway setting up for an approach shot here this one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor Frank Rather nice shot, I would say. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Well, Frank, we've heard of lucky sevens. Nothing lucky about this run. This has been spectacular. Just pure genius out there at the moment. This is, uh, this is something to watch. So, fingers crossed, seven in a row. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. 